Killzone Shadowfall. A beautifully stunning game made by Guerrilla Games. The first person shooter on the PlayStation 4. Killzone Shadowfall takes you through a decent campaign. The story is not that complicated as the previous Killzone games compared to Killzone 2 and Killzone 3. Killzone Shadowfall puts you into the shoes of a Shadow Marshal whose main objective is to prevent a war from starting between two sides. The Hellgast and the VSA both separated on the same planet by a wall, a barrier, keeping them together from apart. So the story isn't as interesting as the other Killzone games and it's pretty basic and the campaign is not that long, it's pretty short and you know, it's, it's a little bit longer than Battlefield 4's campaign but the gameplay is all good, you know, the, the owl which is your basically your little robot buddy is controlled by the touchpad and it's a good use of the touchpad because this is probably the first PS4 game probably the only PS4 game I think other than maybe Knack to use the touchpad unlike any other games now you know there's some problems with Killzone Shadowfall of course even though it looks beautiful you know there's some annoyances that I've really noticed with the game and how that um sometimes you might die in a BS ray but you know other than the levels that you know sometimes may be frustrating the campaign is an okay solid experience and probably the best part is probably the credits the campaign doesn't have any spectacular moments and there's nothing really to remember about it until you get to the end which has a bizarre ending the multiplayer on the other hand is probably my favorite multiplayer for the next gen consoles the customization is there everyone has everything unlocked from the beginning all the weapons all the abilities all the sidearms the only thing you have to unlock are the attachments and you know yeah basically the attachments and any other thing that the weapon could get and there's no class base there's no rank system so basically how you unlock stuff is by doing these challenges for every weapon like if you get 50 kills for one weapon you unlock this attachment or if you get a certain amount of stun kills or you stun a certain amount of enemies you get a certain you know challenges done and you get unlock you start unlocking stuff so the game has the basic core mode as previous kill zones the, the main world which is warzone is one of the funnest modes to play it's the main mode to play there's 24 team player deathmatch as well and there's a there's a few couple of new modes that they um included such as beacon retrieval and beacon safeguard and they're they're nice new additions to the game now the maps in this game they're pretty nice they're 10 match they're all pretty balanced i don't think i find any one map you know too bad and it's so rewarding to play this game because like i said before battlefield 4 when you get kills it's rewarding and kills on shadow fall it's even more rewarding because i love that blink sound that you get when you get kills right here see that little blink sound and everything is balanced you know no class is too overpowered in the other class maybe the support class has a little bit of an advantage because of what they have but you know no gun is overpowered in the other gun even the shotgun is not overpowered you can't even lie about that the shotgun isn't overpowered the shotgun is what it's supposed to be which is a shotgun it's powerful at close range you get a one hit kill you get a one hit kill and i love that this game is so team based and that you need teamwork to win and i'm actually glad they finally added the um the voice chat system because that's such a fun system and there's no more spawn camping as it was in killzone 3 this game allows you to put our own spawn beacon so that's another great feature you know and like i said before everything's balanced nothing's unfair you get killed you get killed the frame rate of the multiplayer does drop sometimes but it rarely happens and you know the multiplayer unlike the single player once at 60 frames per second sometimes it dips to like 55 54 but you know everything runs smoothly and that's that's all that matters sometimes there might be a lag in the kills you get but it doesn't happen that much and you know guerrilla games is supporting the game and it's giving the, us these patches every few couple of weeks you know they're, re they're very supportive and they're gonna have more stuff in store for killzone so killzone shadowfall i'll give this game an 8.5 out of 10 same score i give battlefield 4 addictive and fun multiplayer single player is decent you know nothing to be nothing to brag about <laughs>